Hey, what's going on, y'all? If I'm not mistaken, I believe it is time for fish tank review. You know those Amazon fish tanks? Well, those were the good old days. Because since then, we've had AliExpress fish tanks, Alibaba fish tanks, wherever they get those Facebook fish tanks at Marketplace, and now Timu fish tanks. Look at this monstrosity. <laughs> Fall proof. Explosion proof. I don't know what you think you need this fish tank for. These things do not have to protect you from grenades. Like that's not what a fish tank is supposed to be created for. It's not supposed to prioritize that in its design. If you find yourself prioritizing a fish tank to protect you from explosions, you really have to ask yourself, what is it you're making? In that niche, do your customers really need that to be one of the functions? It is light and transparent. Fish tank should never weigh very little. Fish tank should never be light because it's not carrying enough water. Water is supposed to be heavy and a fish tank is supposed to primarily hold water the only thing i could commend this crazy caption for is that it is transparent one of the most important things for a fish tank to be in our good old 21st century is to be transparent the glass should be clear people pay a lot for higher quality glass but this doesn't give me good quality glass vibes it is 1887 canadian which is a lot for a product on timu i have to admit but hey it is explosion proof how many explosions Explodes are we talking about? Or how did you test it? Can you imagine they fire a bazooka on it or a grenade and they're like, is the beta still alive? It's only in three pieces. Yeah. Broken goldfish ball tank, beta fish plastic transparent fish breeding, oval dinosaur egg turtle with lid breeding. Maybe it's just a bad translation. <laughs> you know, bad translations can only go so far. How is that even possible? They're trying to hit all the hot words, hot keywords, try to do some search engine optimization. But who's searching for dinosaur egg? What is a Stardew Valley? Bro, this is giving me a headache. We didn't even get to that beta fish yet, and it's already giving me a headache. Explosion proof and drop proof. Oh look, maybe it is heavy because it shattered your wooden Floor. Good material impact resistance. This thing's ready for an alien invasion, I guess. Who's playing catch with their fish tank? Come clean, you. I want to meet the people who are in the market to throw their fish tank. 92%? high light transmittance. It is more transparent than glass and has stronger anti-aging performance. I didn't know I was shopping for skincare all of a sudden for my mother. And what kind of fish is that? That looks like AI generation, my friend. Night, the effect of the lamp, people. Perfect. I've always wanted people. What do you mean you don't know what this means? Why is there just the word people there? Bro, you gotta read between the lines. Ever taken poetry? Man, y'all are not outside thinkers. <laughs> Three-in-one mini fish tank filter. Ultra quiet oxygen increasing pump. Oh, it's selling that little thing in there. Okay, okay. Can you not have showcased your filter in anything other than a Tic Tac container? What? Oh my goodness gracious, my friends. 3,600 23 it's almost full five stars i've never seen that high of a rating on anything 36 thousand sold this is like more popular than aquarium co-op filters apparently for less than 14 dollars you too can torture two fish oh my it's a hot deal homies and it's less than 14 dollars oh kill me that's gonna be real popular with the moms looking for a budget fish tank for their kids that have been screaming to want goldfish one piece automatic pet water fountain it's a pet drinking water dispenser and you couldn't just leave it at that you gotta put some live fish in there like oh where can i sneak this one in today how can i make this pop more with color vibrance animal abuse by the way they pooping out nitrates they producing that ammonia your dog or cat is not really gonna appreciate that like th that's not healthy that is waste product going into your pet it's a lose-lose situation why in the world do you need live fish in a contraption like this i don't even want to see how many this sold it doesn't tell me and i don't need to know let's move on that one is just <laughs> why do you hate that one <laughs> F this one in particular am i right one piece glass vase with wooden support base Transparent hydroponic fishbowl. All of them should just be that flower in the back. 169 almost five star ratings, 4.8k sold. Who are the people? Run King? More like run from this thing. Lamazy fishbowls ornamental fish breeding tanks. <sighs> We're back on Amazon just to remind you that this is the epicenter, this is where it all started, and they still got it. They still got that fish abuse skill. No diffing most other places for animal abuse. Quick pause, guys. It's New Year's Day. We're in 2024. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? Your boy don't miss. We were here on Christmas Monday morning as well. I have not missed an FTR since sliced bread. Since World War II, baby. This 
is vintage. So please continue smashing that like button. And if any of these videos have entertained you on a Monday morning, enough for you to support this channel with two bucks, please consider supporting on Patreon. Not only are you getting in my feels, you're also making a direct impact physically supporting the fish room and all the operations here. And you get perks in return, like joining the Fish for Thought to Discord server with more than 2,000 fish keepers all around the world and discount codes on my merch. Yeah, personalized codes. Wow, it gets a little personal around here. <laughs> all right, Chris, you ruined it. Now who's gonna wanna support this channel? 2024, baby, let's go. Sinister I5901 sent in their 29 gallon with Corridoras, Black Skirt Tetras, Neon Tetras, and they planted it with a water onion, some Java Fern, and Dracaena. Now, Dracaena are gonna be your terrestrial species. They do like moisture. There are some species of Dracaena that are a bit more aquatic, but I don't believe there are any true aquatic, like full aquatic into the water all year long sort of Dracaena. Not to my knowledge. And usually PetSmart sells it, so anyone who buys it puts it in their fish tank submerged forever and they'll just die. A 3.85 out of 5, keep it up. My very first tank. Alright, so I went into the comments and the comments have persuaded this person to remove it from the bookshelf because that tank is way too big and the water is going to be way too heavy for that one ledge of bookshelf to hold. So this, my very first tank, very easily could have been my last fish tank or my very first crazy water damage. Price is averted. But also another pro tip, that's not much clearance on top of there, especially if for a first time fish keeper, that is going to give you hell. You need all the clearance you can get to aquascape to help you maintain the thing. Looking at that uh, just hurts me, bro, because I know I'm going to be so limited in everything I do and I have to think twice, three times, four times just to make sure I get the right thing that fits, just to make sure I don't knock something over or like get myself stuck with the vacuum. The Hineapple sent in their first tank. It's a 20 gallon filled with neon tetras and cherry shrimp. It's a very nice first tank and I have that exact Nemo fish up top. And I think that might be the uh, semi-aquatic Dracaena up in the corner there. I think the way they've planted it, it will survive for a longer time because it's, the leaves are actually immersed. Nice long aquascape, detailing of the rocks. Nutrient rich substrate, perfect. The heavy corner escape with the wood, the Java friends coming through. 4.19 out of 5, keep it up. A photo from my recent import of my freshwater eels in their sorting tank. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why are they so dramatic, man? It's kind of like the Dementors coming through some tunnel all trying to rush out of it. Spooky. Snail gun. The channeled apple snail. I'm not sure what the channeled part is, but I guess there's a reason why they call it the apple snail. It's pretty much bigger than a lot of apples. That is crazy. This is a beautiful snail. And it's so big that I thought this hand did not have a pinky <laughs> because it's blocking the pinky. Nah, sent in this fish tank. I usually, like I say all the time, don't do any reviews of uh, salt water because I'm ignorant to salt water. I don't know my stuff, but this looks like a pro skate. The corals are amazing. The anemone, this looks like much better than the coral reef nowadays, unfortunately. So scape wise, you know, I'm mesmerized. This is like perfection to me. I don't know how I could improve on that scape. But stocking wise, uh, I also don't know probably as much as this guy right here, but there's just some questions, you know, maybe you can help me confirm that Na here is not doing something ungodly. Cause I see a Dory fish and I see damsel and things are going in my mind. Things are going off in my mind. I'm not sure like that's doable in this size of a tank. It might be a little overstocked, but it could be overstocked for aggression levels like African cichlids. So yeah, enlighten me. A naturalistic leaf hammock for a bed to rest on. Claimed by the Pandagara. Hey man, the leaf hammock is not racist. It's not speciesist. It's there for everybody. First come first serve, you know what I mean? What a versatile little part of the scape. And the body of this Gara is just perfectly made for this. Oh my goodness. Wow, the water drains so damn fast. Oh, and the fish are just flopping in there and they're pretty much gonna die because there's nobody around. Um, let me see. So it's an 800 gallon aquarium that shattered in the middle of the night. Oh my goodness, man. That is crazy. That is my nightmares. So since we bought this store, it's been nothing but trials and tribulation. We are determined, to, probably saying we're determined to make this work, even though like in the face of these horrific things that are happening, this looks like to be a, a local fish store. It's called Aquatic Sea Life. If you have the time and if you have the resources, please help out this fish store, even sending them an email to cheer them on. What crab is this? Well, I'm no expert, but 
that is probably a red crab. I like how it just takes the food and gets the hell out of there. But um, it came dangerously close to nipping that noodle in half. Holy crap, that coolie loach lucked out. Because I think it has some sort of reflex or like instinct to clamp those claws tight shut. And that coolie loach was really teasing those pincers. I don't think the red crab is like 100% safe around little noodles. They can be pretty opportunistic hunters. That doesn't look like a good time. That looks like an accident waiting to happen. One day in their new tank and already eating from my hands. Well, what can I say? Paradise fish, they don't mess around. They're very confident fish. They don't care. They see food. They see movement. They're curious. Paradise fish are some of the coolest fish, but they are very aggressive. Woo. Looks like you're trying to breed them. Good luck, man. It's a black water, very beautiful tank, it seems. Very healthy fish. Orbit cat sent in their 40 gallon. It's sporting one female bed of fish. Got some Carno Tetra, some Corydoras, Photosynclus, and Shrimp. And boy, it's a looker. Letting that Valis flow right on top there. That's a beautiful feature. Really complements the tank's long dimensions. You've kept the water level lower. I'm assuming that's for the very jumpy and very capably jumpy female betta, along with everything else in the tank. A lot of people think only bettas jump or only tetras jump. Everything jumps. If it's a fish in your tank, it's gonna jump. I don't see how they're even jumping. They don't got legs. I'm practicing my vert as we speak. Well, not right now. I just mean like, you know, throughout the week. I'm trying to jump higher for volleyball. Anyway, Orbit Cat's like, get back on topic, bro. My tank finally showed up on fish tank review and what are you talking about? Volleyball? Nah, I'm talking about these crypts. Frick, man, look at that crypt. Whoa. Crazy. Derogian repens, little details in the back. Don't think I didn't see that. Look at that moss descending. The nice java fern. Hygrophila polysperma. What is that thing? I don't know. I'm too poor to find out. Beautiful, clean sand substrate. Perfect for your quarry cats. What I want to see in this tank is a nice school of laser quarries. That would be so cool. 4.7 out of 5. Keep it up. Raspora swallowed a whole shrimp and is swimming around with it in its mouth. Normal? Yes. I believe it's normal. But to be clear, the first thing you think of when you hear the word Harlequin Rasbora is not that they eat shrimp. Shrimp is usually not on the menu for these guys. Nature is never black and white. Perhaps the conditions in this tank were just so perfect that allowed this very uh, opportunistic individual of a Harlequin Rasbora to go after a shrimp that might have been molting or was a little smaller in size. It got a little trigger happy when you were feeding the tank. But for the most part, I'm gonna say it's pretty shrimp sick. Can anyone ID this string thread looking thing? Um, yeah, <laughs> I can identify it. That sir, that right there sir is a tapeworm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a tapeworm. I'm not sure how it got into your tank. I don't even think tapeworm are waterproof. Is that how you say it? How do I know it's a tapeworm? Well, your boy had a tapeworm when he was a very young child. No, not on purpose, but I quickly found out and my parents quickly found out why I was so skinny. I thought I was, you know, like fit or something. Nope, tapeworm. That is one of the fun facts or like two truths and one lie I say during any icebreakers, during group events. Now you guys know. You guys know me a little bit better. Your boy had a tapeworm when he was like three or four. Now tell me something I don't know about you. Uh, save it for Katwa. I don't know if you appreciated that fun fact though. I'm sorry if you're eating your breakfast. It's a tough pill to swallow. <laughs> Just like the pills I had to swallow to get that tapeworm taken care of. You have enough plants, but I don't have these plants. You know, and that's okay. I'm taking a look at these plants and uh, those look like wallet destroyers. Those look like catastrophic doomsday for my wallet. Armageddon up in here for the old Bridge. And they don't even look that good. It looks like a bad haircut. That's what I'm gonna keep telling myself. Planted tanks are best. Marine tanks are best. Civil war. That's all it takes to start a war. Welcome back to the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching and always pushing the algorithm for this week's Katwa. You guessed it. I already said it. What is a fun fact about yourself that you would use during like two truths and a lie? Or a fun fact you share during like, you know, those awkward get to know you circles. The best fun fact gets 69 out of 5. See you down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button. There'll be more videos to come. And don't forget to get your elbows wet. Catch your Tetra Tetra, we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal act, hear my fin rot from Carasiformes to Parachirodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Lit fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence. Gang.